The human eye is made up of millions and millions of light-sensitive cells. These cells are made up of rods, which let us see light, and cones, which let us see color. Dogs only have two cones, which allow them to see blue, green, and a little bit of yellow. Humans, however, have three, which allow us to see green, blue, and red. The addition of the red cone not only allows us to see red, but all of the other colors derivative of red like orange and purple. The human eye is capable of understanding an entire spectrum of colors that allow us to understand the world in the way that we see it currently. This lets our brain understand what's going on in the world around us. Think about a sunset. Now, imagine the clouds' thick purple tendrils tapering off into ribbons of pale green as the last brilliant orange rays of sun wrap themselves around sheets of winding crimson, all draped in front of a soft indigo canvas. All of these colors based off of the red, blue, and green cones in our eyes. Our sunset is basically made up of just three colors in all of their hues, saturations, and mixtures. Certain species of butterflies have something like five to six cones in their eyes, which allow them to see two extra derivative colors. That means two more base colors that are not comprehensible to a human being. This means that at all times there's a minimum of two colors around us that we can't see, but butterflies can. A sunset to a butterfly would not only be unbelievably beautiful to a human, but also impossible to imagine. Now, one time in college, I read about a certain species of shrimp called the mantis shrimp. Nature gave lions fangs and hawks talons. It gave bats sonar and humans reasoning. But nature gave the mantis shrimp one thing that no other animal can boast. 16 color receptive cones. I want you to think about a sunset again. Except instead of three, try 16 different colors. 13 of which you've never experienced in your life. An exponentially more beautiful sun-drenched phenomenon than any butterfly could ever experience. What would it look like? Something always bothered me after learning this. I don't think it's the fact that I'm never going to know what these colors look like due to my evolutionary outdated eyes. It's not the fact that with this knowledge every single celebrated work of art that humans have created will never truly be appreciated in all of its glory by a human. Or that the man shrimp, even with all of its evolutionary advantage, still has limits and can't see the full spectrum of colors that probably exist well beyond its 16 cones. What bothers me is thinking about a dog. If you were to somehow replace your dog's eyes with a newer, more human model, he would be stunned by this new world of color that you've given him forever appreciating the novelty of these new colors, while being constantly surprised by this new, exciting, beautiful world. The stark contrast between dull and vibrant would be nothing short of miraculous. But if a human can see in this unimaginable filter and never stop to be dazzled by its potential brilliance to a dog, does a mantis shrimp know how beautiful its world is to the rest of us? If it was normal to see those 16 colors, and we'd never seen anything else, would we know what we see is special? If beauty is out of the ordinary, does it cease to be beautiful? I don't know how many times I've actually watched a sunset.